This is Glen Hill with Mount Glen Harps LLC, and I have here a custom 22 string carved harp, nylon strung harp built from Oregon myrtle wood and uh, olive wood from Jerusalem. The olive wood you can see here is appliqued over the myrtle, and the olive wood is from trees that are estimated to be at least a thousand years old, if not two thousand years old. And the olive wood comes from branches that died and then they're cut off to allow the tree to re-sprout. And you can see here the soundboard. I've carved the, uh, this is the ancient Hebrew alphabet with Aleph, Bet, etc. all the way going through. So it is the Aleph, Bet. And uh, 22 letters carved and 22 sharpened levers. And the carving is designed to emulate grapevines with leaves and clusters of grapes. And uh, you tell me what you think. And on the front, we have here, uh, let me brush this off. Our shop has a lot of dust in it, of course, sawdust. These are 12 gemstones. One, two, one, say one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve here at the top. And they're meant to represent the twelve <clears throat> semi precious stones, precious stones, that were on the breastplate of the high priest at the ancient temple in Jerusalem. So they are going up the front of the harp here. And let me turn it around. You can see the, uh, the other side here, more of the carving, and let me strum it for you. The sound will get better and better as it's played, and it has a solid spruce soundboard. The spruce is approximately 75 years air dried. I've been building for 46 years, and some of my spruce is about 40 years that I've had it. For that, it was uh, 25 to 50 years air dried. And uh, see, so the back of the harp has the uh, Stars of David. Uh, so the Mok and David carved on the back. A little bit stylized. The upper one is slightly taller at the top. And uh, there's also sound holes at the bottom and a uh, display stand that the harp sits in. So I'll just strum it some more here for you. The note range is A up to A, 22 notes. It's a beautiful little harp. And I'm not going to be building too many more of these. I'm semi-retired. I've got three 29-string carved harps to build. And after that, <clears throat> I'm going to be primarily building only an occasional 10-string double-neck lyre. They're going to probably price at about 3000 and up. And laser beam instruments, which uh, I have those all over the world. And I'll continue to be doing those depending on which project. Okay, that's it for now.